All right, we'll get back to uh, Stan Van Gundy shortly, but right now we're uh, with Tom Wilson Football. We're live here at the 33rd Annual Ed Block Courage Awards, and we welcome in from the Indianapolis Colts. Always seems to beat the Ravens one way or another. Dwight Freeney is with us here on Sports with Coleman. Welcome to Baltimore under friendly circumstances. <laughs> glad to be here under friendly circumstances. Hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> Definitely glad to be here under friendly circumstances. <laughs> what yeah, is, I think Jonathan Nog is rolling around here someplace, uh, <laughs> trying to keep it from us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know you've been asked this repeatedly. Why have you guys had so much success against the Ravens? You've never lost to them. <laughs> To be honest with you, I don't know if we got in the bag or something like that. Uh, maybe we match up with that. Did you know that when playoff time came around, everyone was hoping and praying that the Ravens wouldn't meet the Colts? I didn't know. <laughs> and you seem to have a pretty good advantage inside your house. The new Lucas Oil Stadium and even the old Hoosier Dome you played in, it seemed like on a routinely basis, uh, you guys were getting the best of the purple and black. And you against Jonathan Ogden stands out because you may be the only guy in the history of his career to beat him, dare I say, like a drum. Uh, I think I had a good day. That's the same point there. I mean, John's day is a great day. He's definitely won this year. He's won this year against Pro Have you guys reminisced about that in Pro Bowl? Once in a while, I don't see John too much. He's on the golf course. Exactly. I got the five. Actually, I'm picking up the five. I haven't talked to him. How emotional has this experience been for you visiting the kids yesterday and being here today? It's a sight that you don't see of Dwight Freeney off the field, and it's behind closed doors. Share some of your feelings. All right. It's a big deal here in Baltimore and across the National Football League. No matter what's going on with the players and the owners, this event perseveres. Where are you at? 
as a as a, it's a pretty big group, obviously, to keep everybody on the same page. Yeah, because yeah. the owners, they're just 30, it's just like them. Them. It seems like they could be more organized than you guys. ever since you've been in the NFL, Dwight. Thank you. 